running. So actually between me and my SMD that time, there were like six, seven people, right? And all of them were not really coachable. So we skipped all of them and we worked directly with an SMD. And he's the one that helped us become successful, uh, help us uh, in the initial success in the business. So, once again, let's see if you paid attention. Who should you follow? Follow your offline? Yes. Yes, yeah, so you follow offline, you may go up, right? But what if you follow your downline? You go down. Sometimes you, know, you recruit a big shop, right? And they intimidate you, right? And, and because they have maybe more experience than you because they used to be from, from financial services industry or they used to be a high position in corporate America and you brand in this business. And sometimes you, know, you let your, your downline run your business. You know? So, um, and if you follow sideline, guess what? Yeah, you may go around, 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 you never get to your final destination. Right? And if you follow another leader, you may one day end up with a different company. So, um, so make sure you follow the right leader in this company. Follow your upline. That means you say follow your upline that's aligned with the company and aligned with the system. Does that make sense? Yeah. Right? If your direct upline is not aligned to the company or the system, you go one more up to see who is. And once you find that person, you see if the person willing to work with you or mentor you or work with you directly. So. And the problem is, is that you know, we all influence the people all around us, right? Sometimes you go to the office and you know, people, they talk about negative things or things not supposed to say in the mental zone, you know, and you know, there's usually a lot of things going around because so many people in this business and people always like to share gossip out there, right? Don't listen to all the gossip out there. Focus on your business. Right? Don't let other people influence you, you know, about the business or about your success in, this, in WFT. So... It's incredible how people slow down and get destroyed because of the people around them. Mm -hmm. right? So basically when you join WFG, you just need to put your blinders on right? and just go forward. Right? That's like some uh, horse-drawn carriages, they put blinders on the horse's eyes. You know why they do that? Because if they see something that attracts them or maybe they, maybe they see like some grass, they want to go and, and then eat the grass as opposed to you know, uh, go forward. Right? So same thing in this business. Put on your blinders. Don't let outside things in the world distract you and focus on your business. So the shielding effect. Anyone know about shielding? Yeah. Yes? Yes? Yeah. Right? So if you have grass, right? Let's say you want to grow lawn, right? And you cover the grass with something, right? Like maybe a... Uh, Final, uh, whatever, right? So, what happens in the grass if you cover the grass? Die. It's gonna die, right? So, same in this business. If you shoot your people, if you shoot your team, what's eventually gonna happen to your team? Die. They may die too, right? So, why do people shoot? What are some of the reasons why people shoot? Well, maybe they don't like the upline. Right? So I don't like my upline, I don't want my upline to work my, with my team. Right? Sometimes ego. Right? They say, you know what, I'm the big shot here, you know, I don't want anybody to, 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 to jump down and, and work with my team because I'm the big shot here, I'm the big boss. Right? Some people are just control freaks. Yeah, they, want to, they want to do everything, they don't want anyone to, to be involved with their team. You have anybody like that? Right? So. Now be careful of duplication and boomerang effect because you know what? If you shoot people, guess what your team is going to do? They're going to be shoot their people from you too, right? So, what does it mean here? Right. So let's say C. Let's say C is uncoachable, right? C is thinking he knows it all, right? C has big ego. He's afraid his downline is a passer. They and, and and he doesn't like A and B, and he shoots his team here. Right? But you know what? If the people here are being shielded from leadership, eventually these people may perish. Right? So, how do you avoid this? I mean, who, 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 who's here to blame for shielding? Yeah. Is that C's fault? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, C is to blame because he's shielding, right? But what about if you E? Right? If you E, 
and you don't see your shoe, shoe leg, what should you do? Be, be that way? I mean, it's your fault too, right? If you let see, see, eat, uh, see you from your leaders, that's your own fault also. Because you know what? Yes, yeah, see has the right to override. But that's the only right he has. C does not own you. Remember that. I don't own any of my downloads. Okay? The only right I have, and I love that right, is the right to override. Okay? But I don't own anybody. You see, everybody are independent contracts to WFG. Right? We just work together here as a team, because working together as a team, we know we can achieve more. That's why we're working together as a team. Right? Now we here as a leadership, we're here to provide leadership Right, and direction, how you can become successful in this business. Right, but we, don't, we do not own you. So, it's up to you, you know, whether you like to, if, 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 it's up to you if you want to stay this way, or if you want to jump back up and work with somebody who can help you become successful. And don't be shielded, right? So, if you know you're being shielded, that's your upline's fault, but also that's your fault too, right? So who would you like to work with? Would you like to work with uncoachable or coachable people? <laughs> coachable people, right? Yep. Well, let me ask you this. Are you coachable? Yes. Yes, yes. right? You know the more coachable you are, the more coachable your team will be, right? The less coachable you are, the less coachable your team will be. Okay? So, that's it, right? Who would you like to lead you right now? Right? And are you the dream coachable downline? You see, the best leaders, or the best future leaders, were initially also the best followers. All right? So, when I joined this business, initially, I just follow my leader. I just do exactly what he told us to do. Hey, go out there, focus on recruiting, and focus on recruiting. Get your license, go get the license. Bring people to a convention, bring people to a convention. Hey, bring a lot of people to the lead circle, bring a lot of people to the lead circle. That's all we did. We just followed whatever our SMD told us at that time. Right? And once I became SMD, I listened to my CEO or EDC to tell me what to do so I can become CEO of EDC. Same thing. So you have to stay coachable until you become financially independent. Right? Mm -hmm. So can you at least stay coachable because, until you become financially independent? Yes. Hello? Yes. 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 Right? So that may take, I don't know, five years, ten years? Depends. Right? But you, you've got to stay coachable until you're financially dependent. So now, coachable means it's not just listening, but also willing to do it. Right? A lot of us here right now we're taking notes, right? We're listening, taking notes. But are we doing it after we go home? Because you know what? If you, you know, if you don't, if, if, if you don't follow the system or you're not coachable, guess what? The whole system's gonna collapse here. The whole system's gonna collapse. So, you know, so you gotta be willing to listen and willing to do it. Are you guys willing to do it? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. yes. So you've seen this before, right? Yeah. Now these are what we call the, the eight, the eight, uh, the eight pointers. About 25 years older, married, have children, homeowner, income, ambitious, dissatisfied. And what is the the last one? Coachable. It doesn't matter if the prospect has all other of them. Right, if they're up the other seven, if they don't, if they're not coachable, it doesn't matter. Yeah, they're not going to become successful in this business. All right, but if they're coachable, now we can work with the other ones. But so that's the eighth pointer in our system. What you're looking for in a person, are they coachable? So after coachability, right? So in the beginning, when you, start, when you join this business, you don't you don't know a whole lot, right? 
You just uh, you just have to ignore the enthusiasm, and you know. And, and later on, you know, as you progress as well in the business, now you have to become more teachable, right? So, what is being teachable? What does that mean? Be more teachable. You know, ability and willingness to continue to learn in this business.